Children Philly, Children Philly, what's up, man? You, SCJ here. It's the top of the morning. It's the top of the morning. I hope everybody is getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, we got to talk about a big-time decommitment that took place for Oklahoma. Listen, his name is Floyd Bucard. Listen, Floyd Bucard was heavily recruited by USC, came on that big-time recruiting trip, and listen, it was dog work all up in the mix. If you guys remember, USC – was uh, heavily involved with his recruitment. And look, we thought we really had an opportunity to get him, but then he ended up changing his commitment to Oklahoma. But now, all of a sudden, it appears that he just made this decommitment yesterday. I put it up on Twitter. Those who follow me on Twitter, you guys know that I it, most of the stuff that I talk about, um, I usually put it on Twitter. And some, you know, of course, I just keep to myself and just kind of go forward with it. But look, Floyd Bucard, is a three-star prospect, but listen, body frame, we'll take a look at his other information, is a, is a frame that you can't teach. You know, he's rated the number 48 D-line in the country, number 62 player uh, in the state of Florida at Miami Central, and he's standing at six foot three, 315 pounds. And you're talking about a kid that originally came from Montreal, Canada. Uh, and so, you know, you're talking about a big – Big time defensive guy, you know, most likely would be in like a 4-3 front, uh, which you guys know we run all those. De'Anton Lynn switches a lot of stuff out. Uh, but he, he turned some heads at the Under Armour camp. Uh, big time quickness, flashing of quickness, um, very explosive at the point of attack, a good base to him. And look, man, it, it's straight up go time when you talk about a guy like Floyd Bucard. And so now uh, he actually got crystal ball to USC. Um, in 2023, Floyd actually had, and he was in Mobile Christian at this time, 85 tackles, 27 tackles for loss, 11 sacks. So you're talking about a very, very, very active kid, uh, somebody who could absolutely move and groove. And you get a guy like him, you're talking about a true nose tackle, um, a, a, you know, D tackle, nose tackle. This is the kind of kid you want and, uh, and, and the kind of kid you'll get with uh, Floyd Bucard. So we want to share that information with you, man. We got some other recruiting news that we want to get to, but this is a massive development. And uh, now he's been crystal ball by a couple of, I believe Scott Schrader uh, from On3 has him as a as a uh, crystal ball. And then somebody else um, is now officially crystal ball, Floyd Bucard to USC. So let's get to some of this other information real quick. Let's go. Also, Jerome Miles, you guys know he's set to commit tomorrow. Uh, he is now rated a four-star, five-star prospect all across the board on every site. Um, he was just upgraded yesterday. Most recruits were updated yesterday. And so now you see him in 24-7 sports. Naturally, he's a five-star. Rivals, he's now a five-star. Number 98, on three, has him as a five-star. And then ESPN has him as a five-star. So it's a big-time development because you guys know he's already crystal ball, and we're expecting to get this five-star tomorrow. Uh, so you guys can hit me in the comments. You guys can tell me Jerome Miles is now a big-time five-star prospect. Also, in other news, we have uh, the quarterback for Wisconsin, Van Dyke, is now out for the season. Um, you guys know Van Dyke transferred from Miami. And he got hurt last week against Alabama, and now they're back on quarterback. So that you know, we play Wisconsin next week, the week after next. Michigan to be this weekend, but now we'll face the Wisconsin team that has their backup. And I don't think he's, um, you know, he gets the ball down the field the way Van Dyke gets it down the field. But that is something to keep in mind. Van Dyke is now out for the season. And one more thing about the Michigan quarterback. You guys know I did a video about Michigan quarterback yesterday. And look, now or Orgy, he will be officially in. Um, he's officially named the starting quarterback. And listen, I told you guys that it's going to be a run-heavy offense when you have a guy like him in there, and we must stop the run. I mean, it, it's, it's going to be uh, essential to stop the run. They're going to be doing bootlegs. They're going to be throwing it on the run. I mean, they're going to be throwing read option, all kinds of stuff at us. And so it's going to be essential that, you know, with Orgy, he's not a guy that's as accurate as the other quarterback. But, however, he will 
run the ball. He will do some read option stuff, bootleg stuff. And uh, we just got to be very, very careful when you're talking about him coupled with the running back. The backup running back, who I think is now the starting running back, Mullins, um, over Edwards now. Edwards was a starting running back. But you got this guy, Mullins, man, who can absolutely move and groove. And I'm going to show you guys him in a second. And I'm going to be touching on Michigan stuff all week. Uh, but Mullins is very, very explosive. And you couple that with him. Listen, they're going to probably throw the whole kitchen sink at us. And so we got to be focused. We've got to stay calm and and, uh, and really stay disciplined, sound football, stack the box, must stack the box, uh, and force Orgy to throw it. Because you don't want these guys to get running downhill um, on us at all. Also, this is the running back I was talking about. His name is Mullins. This is the 230-pound running back that we cannot allow to get going because he's a big, physical running back that uh you don't want to let allow him a guy like this to get going man so you guys can drop those comments you guys